Hey, welcome back to more Pikmin 2. Last time we uh, cleared out the Awakening Wood, and this time we're going to head into Valley of Repose and hope to clear it out over the course of a couple segments. I'm going to expect to bum rush Subterranean Complex if I can. Um, like, not getting the overworld treasures first again? It, de it depends on the positions of things. I don't really remember the layout of this place. They're, oh. they're on the way. Okay. The problem is this place is a straight line, so you'll have to get them and then come back to get your squad and then go there again. I see. That's Frontier. Where's Subterranean in that little pocket down there? The lump, yeah. Okay. Um, like, here. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So hopefully the unspeakable wonder hasn't moved. Um. Why would it have? Wasn't there another... Okay, actually, I don't think it happened to you. It happened to Joel when we were playing this, and he collected some treasure that took a while to get. Got it. Oh. I'm, I'm checking something. Okay. Um, but yeah, he, like, got a treasure, you know, out of an annoying place, but didn't collect it all the way because we ran out of time for the day. And then the next day, it was just back in its original place. That's extremely bizarre. Oh, I... Oh, no, I did break this. Okay, cool. I just want to check what it recommends. Okay. Everything but blues. Do I, do I still want to bring blues? You don't need them. Okay. Right. Like, I, uh... Didn't see the unspeakable wonder anywhere, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Oh, you're gonna need blues for the treasures outside, though. So. Oh, okay. So, let me actually think. Knowing the hazards that await... Um, <laughs> You will need, I'm going to say, at least 30 blues. I, I It might not be that. I, I don't remember how many it takes, but yeah. You will uh, possibly want a bunch of reds. You definitely want a bunch of yellows. It's... If anything, you just don't need whites. Okay. I'll grab the laser then. Yeah, growing um, shit, yeah. What? Uh, the Pikmin have exited the onion and attacked a flower on their own volition and grown some seeds. Nope, not allowed. <laughs> That's for shit. Don't place the fucking posies so close. What are you doing? I kind of care about the duck. And by that, I mean I might have lied about the reds, but we'll, we'll see. 25 yellows, I would say, just to be safe. No! <laughs> they almost got it. I thought they did. Alright. Uh, we, we don't need 100, that's fine. <laughs> sure. No, I'm gonna do it. Uh... I don't know what to grab! Blues. <laughs> Blues, it's fine. Didgeridoos. Didgeri-blues? Nice. <clears throat> Everything wrong with didgeri-blues, but also nothing wrong with didgeri-blues. I support them. Manhole. Sniff. Sniff. You've ever been real hot. <laughs> These are the jokes, kid. Yep. No jokes, pocket. This is serious chiz. If you see any grass, let me know. Why is the camera not zoomed out when I probably zoomed out last time? You have to do it for each day. Okay, that was what was confusing me, because I'm like, damn, am I really that bad that I keep zooming it back in for no reason? I'm constantly zooming in and in and out, in and in and out, and now and in and out. Alright, how long until we have a, uh, boulder disaster? Boulder, boulder disaster. Oh, there's one over there too, shit. Um. Boldage, boldage, disanzo. I am making note of the water dumple down there that will probably not be an issue unless there is, uh, stupidity. 
I'm so glad. I'm so glad yeah, I selected. Rock, yeah. I selected purples. I walked up slowly. Okay. I'm. I'm and gonna try smash. not to. Yeah. I'm gonna try not to be so irritable this time because I realize it probably makes for a pretty shitty. Do That's not what. Yeah. It means. Pretty shitty <laughs> doing experience. Um. Um. Like I. I know. Again, what it really co it, it comes down to a couple of things. Um. It's just. I thought this game was going to be more of an improvement over Pikmin 1 in terms of jank than it was. Um, and so there's a little bit where I, I, it keeps being like, man, I thought this game would be better than this. Um, and there's also an element to which uh, I am normally a pretty patient person, but when I'm recording, I'm specifically worried about, like, you know, is this going to be shit to watch because I'm doing badly? I, I don't no, I absolutely get that. I, I worry about that crap constantly. As we saw with my conversation earlier, where I'm like, I really can't upload the Pikmin 4 stream because I didn't talk for 20 minutes. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, dumps. Uh. No, not the comics. No, not the money. Uh, oh. Nothing I could do about that. Wolf Dump will suck ass. Just swarm it. Alright, do you remember how you dealt with the last one of these? I have to drag it into the water. I mean, I think I used uh, the stone spray or the bit of spray button. Yeah, that's the thing, is, uh, like, I mean, you still have to drag it into the water to put the fire out. Um, but uh, your options are do that or play hopscotch with reds across these fucking stones. I'm definitely dragging it into the water. The question okay. is whether I'm going to bother with the spicy spray. And I'm thinking probably not. Well, the bitter spray. The, the thing is, like, you know, it, it'll, oh, it'll... Spicy spray, maybe, then. I actually you forgot spicy try. spray was an option. No, what? Yeah, that, that's the issue. Excuse me? Roar. Roar, Pico. Uh. God damn. Whoa! What? What did it do to yeah. do that? Those weren't on fire, were they? That was, no, it, that, it, that was it, it just ate like 20 of them. It, it it was it's grabbing five at a time and it got what, like. Do I even need miles. to deal with this? Oh, it's in its fucking. Belly, yeah, you have to kill it. So you, did you say I killed this the first time and then I had to? No, you didn't. But uh, you are uh, you are a braver and more patient person than I by trying to fight this thing with anything other than a bitter spray. However, it looks like it. I got like okay, one, like, one death. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. It's that clock. Remember, Come on, remember you guys. I, I probably didn't even have any bitter sprays. Wait, you though. need 30? Apparently. That's okay. You came here with 35 and only three died. Where the fuck are the rest? Okay. Uh, Maybe they're getting caught on some toenails. What? No. Alright. Okay. Alright, you did good, Blues. Uh, oh, I okay. see a thing for you guys. As long as they don't drag it past the fucking bulb orb, save state now in case they drag it past the fucking bulb orb. Okay. Like, am I supposed to throw from here? It kind of looks like I can't make it. You can't from here. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah. And a waiting disaster any moment now. Look, look to the right. Uh, please don't carry it through the fucking bulb orb. Oh, are they actually steer? Holy shit, they're steering clear of it. Okay, you're good. You can reload. See, I was worried that we're going to carry it through that other 
bit of water that you have to bridge over because there was a water dump on there, but uh, I suppose this is fine. Oh, the purple. Oh. You didn't even need yellows for this. I thought you did. How is All that right. not enough? There's a purple one. Okay. <laughs> okay, just gotta get the unspeakable wonder again, which uh, has apparently relocated to fucking Zimbabwe. <laughs> I think it was somewhere along the path when you collected it last time. Like, you, you moved it. Oh, okay, there it is. Oh, I've been taught the way. It is actually pronounced Dekadui. Oh, my God. Okay, don't, don't come over there. Oh. Buddy, no, it, 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 I think you would have actually been fine. Now it's latched onto you, though, so, yeah. It was trying to attack you before that. Okay, go away. I know, but I think you were just barely out of its Asshole, way. Asshole, I've whistled you like six times. Alright. I never remember what this <laughs> one is called. It's like Kronos something. Kronos maybe. Reactor. Nope, totally wrong. Is Kronos Reactor from the best game? I think so. Right. Back to this money. This thing should be the most valuable item in the game. I don't know if it is, but, uh, yeah, end up sometimes. Oh no, oh no, it's a Nazi. Ah, a Nazi, what? It's a Nazi. It's, it's doing the Hitler slick. Oh no. <laughs> I can't believe they would let that slide. Just like Registeel. There's the fossilized Ursidae, best item in the game. Oh, hey, it's one of these things. This is uh, what uh, Mr. Grizz communicates to you with in Splatoon 2. <laughs> it's like a radio shaped like that thing. Alright. Alright, I guess uh, let's figure out what team we're taking in here. There are two Queen Candy Pops in the cave, so you don't have to go in with a hundred. I don't know why you wouldn't, though. Um, I see. We still need to use one to get it in the Piclopedia. Oh, the reds are all carrying suit. Okay. You're gonna want to take out at least 20 whites. Probably more purples. How many do I have out now? 20? Uh, they're all on the thing, so I don't know. Let's I think you had 20. Let's do 10 more. I guess just a bunch of reds to convert, because you're going to be encountering at least six candy pops. Okay. So I have 20 or 30 reds out now. Let's pull out, uh, well, okay, well, let me do more. Oh, there they are. What? What do they take back to the red onion? The little pellet. Oh. Okay. Alright, come on. A lazy Jonas. <laughs> a lazy Jonas? 120 isn't shit. <laughs> Alright. Uh, if you want to flower up, you can go up that hill behind the ship. One second. Oh, they're on. Yeah. Okay, so you got 70. So I, it should just be two trips into the complex to get enough purples unless any die. So there's no violet candy pops in any of the Wistful Wild Caves? I don't believe so. Weird. Okay. Well, Man, I did not luck. completely flower up. No! <laughs> Fine. Apparently, the Cavern of Chaos has one. Okay. So I only technically need to get to 95. 
That's still probably going to be two trips, though. Yeah. Okay, so let's double check. I got... 30 reds, 20 yellows, 20 whites, 30 purples. And the reds are obviously for conversion. Um, if it were me, uh, if you want to be, like, you know, super efficient with things, you might even want to switch out 10 more whites for reds. But, uh, because you're going to be getting 15 whites in the cave. Okay, fair enough. Not that it hurts to have a lot of whites because they're fast. But, yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright, now we have to get there twice. <clears throat> That's the fun I part. always forget the whites are fast and never make use of that. I mean, I have to get there twice. Because you're going oh, to want to do the cave twice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we didn't get to make use of the uh, stupid trick to get into the cave without breaking down the fence. Mm -hmm. The, the belief purples are okay. such a fucking problem. God. Um, Hopefully I can flower them up in the cave and take less time to get there. Wrong Sorry. way. Take the left. It, yeah. It's, uh... So, the, yeah, the, I'm sure that'll be back there. But, yeah, the way to get into this uh, cave is real good, because there's, like, this little snowy ledge here where the dead body is, and, uh, if you... Use the five man knapsack to uh, just kind of like lay dead with a Pikmin in the right place. It'll try to pick you up and then like circle around in this weird arc and just clip up the side of the hill. And so you can just get Alamar up there and then whistle the rest of the team. It's a hole. <laughs> Interesting. My metal detectors are reacting violently. I can only conclude that there may be some sort of machine below, but that seems illogical. Why? Why is it illogical? I don't know. And then they all die jumping into the hole. <laughs> Dubber eighth. Okay, how many floors did you say this was again? Fifteen? No, it's not that many. It's like no, it's not. It's nine. nine. Okay. Burp. I think if I can do like four floors, oh, good. Immediate, immediate fun times. Um. Right. Can you get a little? What's wrong? Come a little closer. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, both of them. Oh, that's just. Mm, that's just my favorite. Yeah, okay. If it happens again, you need to, like, waggle the stick to break out. Oh, I was trying to do that, and it wasn't working, so I thought, okay. I just was doing it too slowly, I guess. Okay, how- what am I doing wrong? I can't- I can't throw stuff, it's- it's- it- it, I can't get close to it without it doing that to me. Okay, that's weird. Right. Nice poison, man. You're protecting a whole lot. Yeah. Nice even number. About to ruin it. Even number what? Oh, focus. Yeah. I love when they hang on the body for another 20 minutes after the fact. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Uh, oh, good! Cool, Ray. You might want to switch to President and wiggle out. Um, okay. He's just deciding nah. to be out of range. Oh, okay. 
I don't like those things. Yeah, they're bumbling fuck asses. Yes. Who is lifting what? Oh, the body. This uh, stump definitely served a purpose. Uh oh, yeah. Okay. I I just I didn't even look at the treasure gauge. I'm like, surely there is a treasure up here. Oh. I, I said like I said all right, fine, and then I directed you over the body. What part did you not understand? <laughs> so while I'm clear clearing this stuff out, unless uh, I mean I think I know what to do here, unless there's gonna be bullshit. Um. I've, I've been saving a topic in my back pocket, um... Fish pocket, fish pocket. Um... Um... Basically, uh, a, a while ago, I think this was just when one of the Pikmin 4 trailers came out, I messaged in Fort Jack and I was, uh, I was trying to make a joke. I didn't even realize it was a oh. either. Good. Good. <laughs> Fort Jack being the group conversation with me and Joel, for the record. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Just... What? I didn't throw any yeah. cards. Wait, I have I ten whites. Sure thinks you did. I have ten whites to throw. Yeah. I don't know what was up with that. Anyway. And uh, I, I joked. I'm like, hmm, what if... Uh, you know, what if after all this time, Pikmin 4 is finally coming out, but what if it turns out to be like open world? Because, you know... There's a thing where like well, fucking every series, game every game, every game now. is becoming open world now, um, and you know a lot of people, a lot of people are fine with this and are like, oh yeah, open, world. yeah, if, if a game's open world, it's just better. Um, but there's also a lot of people, uh, including myself, that are kind of like, okay, you know, maybe, maybe we don't have to do this for everything. And to be fair, I haven't hated the ones I've tried. Uh, I have my issues with Breath of the Wild, and I wish it wasn't replacing everything about the Zelda series. What do you mean I'm missing one? Yeah, I'm not sure about that either. Okay, I saw it for a second. Um, like, what do you mean? Yeah, so anyway. So I, I don't love Breath of the Wild, and I don't love that they're basically just continuing with that. But anyway. I mean, Bowser's Fury was fine. They could do some interesting stuff with that. I genuinely liked Pokemon Gen 9. Um, it was kind of jank, and they would need to iron some stuff out, but I liked it. Um... But anyway, so I'm like, yeah, what if Pikmin 4 is open world? <laughs> and then I started thinking about it. I'm like, you know, actually, that that, that actually would be fine. <laughs> like, I, I think this series actually probably is well suited for a more open world format. And I started thinking about it more. Um, and I came up with, like, some stuff about how this would work. It's like, okay, so if it's one interconnected map, what would that mean? Um, I, that, I was like, well, immediately you definitely need multiple bases. Which, funnily enough, Pikmin 4 ended up turning out to have, even though it's not open world. The levels just have multiple base points now. Um... And, uh, excuse me, oh. Oh, yeah, that's fine, you guys can keep doing that. Um. <laughs> guess I'll just clean up some bodies while waiting. Um. And so, uh, to establish early on, uh, I feel like there's gonna be some disagreement over what counts as open world, because what you're thinking of is more of a, uh, like a Zelda Metroid-y map where there's stuff that is locked well, behind it. Like certain stuff, right? That I guess so, yeah. I mean, it's weird, because I've said before that open world is actually sort of the antithesis of typical Zelda and Metroid design, because those are characterized by um, having... Gates and having having, having, having gates. Yeah, having, or, yeah, essentially. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. Um, th things that are sealed off requiring some kind of item, and then you have to go find that item, and then you unlock it. So, I guess, I guess what I'm just... Just table... Maybe. I guess what I'm describing is not really so much as an open world Pikmin as it is incorporating a Metroidvania elements into Pikmin. I guess. I never really. I didn't realize that. Yeah. I guess that's. I guess that's really what I'm doing. Um. But anyway. So yeah. So I'm immediately thinking. Okay. If it's one interconnected map, which is what I was originally thinking, I meant by that. Then you would definitely need multiple spawn points, and um, you know. You pro it probably wouldn't even make sense to have, like, completely discretized days. And this was also before they announced night exploration in Pikmin 4. I was like, what if this is the chance to incorporate the night? It's more dangerous, but you can potentially get some more stuff done and get, you know, your game completed in a lower day count that way. And there would be extra challenges to it, but, you know, you would just, there would be maybe some upgrades you could do with that. Um, I don't know. I think, I think it has some potential. I think it's interesting. Um, I've also been... Oh. Nobody's latched on? Surprisingly. 
Let me try to get people on this. Okay. Got a decent amount. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And uh, I've actually since thought about this more, and I'm not going to give more details about this uh, in specific, but... Um, Keep an eye out for the Kickstarter in uh, 2026. <laughs> God. Don't, 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 don't joke about that. <laughs> um, I mean, I, know, I guess it's fine. Uh, basically, oh, uh... I didn't say that one out loud, but I knew it. Ah, uh, okay. Um, basically, I am actually... You might... You might be surprised by this, because it seems like people have this impression that I don't like this series or these games. I do, I just have my frustrations with it, and I especially see what I would like it to be. Um, and, yeah, just... A lot of it isn't even really that much in the way of design, it's just kind of, like, polish and, like, enemies being tuned a little too hard and stuff like that. But, um, I had some concepts, and I've actually been sort of developing a, uh, design... It's not really a... it's not a formal design document, but I've been laying out, like, an outline for a, uh, Pikmin-like game that I'm interested in potentially trying to make with Joel. It, we'll have to see... How that goes, I don't want to say anything else right now and get people's hopes up, but I, I think it would be cool to work on something. We've, we've wanted to work on the project together for a while now. I have I don't really have any game dev experience, because the times I have tried have not gone super well. Um, I uh, recommend uh, disbanding everybody and then just kind of running forward and popping all the bombs. I flew them up into space and then they popped. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that would be cool, basically. Um, so if you hear more about that, well, if if we get to a stage where we're you know actually working on it and we are potentially have stuff to show people, or hell, I mean, it's not impossible that we do some kind of Kickstarter or something, but. Yeah, if, if, you know, I guess I'll let you guys know. I've wanted to work on stuff with Joel for a while, I just haven't had any specific things that I've been... I haven't had any ideas for stuff I would like to make, and now I do, and so I'm like, well, shit, maybe yeah. I should actually pursue this. Um, so we'll see how that goes, if anything even comes of it. Um, may also want to just wait until we're I'm in the same place anyway, you know? You know, a year or two, how long that takes. Make it easier. Alright, um... These fuckers. I actually think I want to bring a small squad with me. What do you think? Because probably. If uh, these bombs. Too much room to... for uh, collateral damage. Okay, I don't know what happened there. I don't like damage, <laughs> so I'm gonna try this again. Okay, I don't like that you don't seem to understand what disband means. Um, I don't like the use though, it seems to know what the whistle means. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who it is, but it probably is who it is. I asked my friend Joe, 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 I asked... Probably could have killed that thing. Oh, maybe the bomb will kill it. Uh, I think they're immune to him. That makes sense. Yeah, these are, uh, you know, these, these are like the, is it, uh, Cersus Tower boss, where you gotta overcommit? <laughs> uh, no, it's, uh, Labyrinth of the Ancients, the boss is called Phlegathon. That's right, Cersus Tower is Zandy. Surprisingly, none died there. Yeah. I'm gonna save save before I take on I'm also, one. uh, I'm liking the snitch bug that, uh, oh, may bug. drop in on a grommet and, uh, may throw Pikmin into the abyss. Mm. Buddy. And it may run up. <laughs> uh, send my whites onto these and then I'm not gonna know the names of fucking anything in this cave because it's all like machinery parts and oh, I see. there's like the three different vacuum tubes that look identical. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't even know that they were vacuum tubes until Joel told me what they were. I thought they were like spark plugs or something. Zoom, bitch. So what the hell was that exploit you were telling me about for the low day run where you, like, supercharge the speed of a moving object? Uh... Like, do you remember, remember how that worked? Nope. It was something about, like... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's like you use a spicy then... spray. You, um, have your Pikmin carry it while they're spicy. And then you pl you whistle them off as it's wearing off, uh, and if you time it right, then um, the object will make will then when you pick it up again, it will still be moving at a speed that matches you know when you pick them with spicy, even though they're not spicy anymore. And then you can spicy spray them again to make it even faster, and you can stack this. <laughs> I'm unsure how you would ever. Is this something flywheel? No. I think that's an item in the first game. Um, I'm not sure how you would actually make use of that in a thing where you're having to be fast, because it's like you have to time the spray to run out at just the right time to pick up this thing. Oh my god. I guess the idea is that you use the spray long before you reach the item that you need to carry and you uh, totally. somehow know exactly how much time you need, but god, that sounds hard to set up. I mean, eh, speedruns are difficult, often. No, they're easier than normal gameplay because they use glitches and they don't play the game right. People like to talk about, you know, the one-frame tricks and stuff like that, but I've heard a lot of the difficulty and a lot of the, or at least a lot of the time loss you get from speedruns, or time saves, time saves you get from speedruns, are just from movement and just being really good at just doing exactly what yeah. you need to, no downtime, no wasting any time, instead of, you know... Because <laughs> that's the thing, is, like, I've gone to the point in my Metroid Dread, uh, like, um, playthroughs, where I know all the, the the like glitches I use to um, sequence break, and I can do them pretty quickly. That's not what my time loss is. And I'm moving pretty fast, it's just not enough. There's a lot of time loss from just, you know, not being completely optimal. So, that that's where all the practice goes. It's not for, really for the tricks, usually. Right. Okay. Alright, is there a magic angle where this thing's gonna... Actually, it doesn't even have to be a magic angle. It's just gonna kill those reds. It's absolutely going to. Well, it killed a red. Okay. Fine, I guess I'll dump stuff over here. 1.2 billion ugly fucking reds. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. Have you ever had a meal? <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm stuck. Well, I at least didn't crush anything with that. I think we did that Good. first. That's not enough, that's a bolt. What is the difference between a screw and a bolt? Is it just whether it uses a screwdriver versus a wrench? I guess so? Yeah, I guess so. Otherwise, I don't know what it would be, like, the size? Size doesn't matter. We f Lemon, we fit Trainer X Alamar. Oh, God. <laughs> what was the lemon? Oh, you don't know what that means? Um, See, I, I figured you'd read enough, like, old sporkings and stuff to know. But it's a uh, it's an old fan fiction term, basically, for smart, not safe for work. I think it's specifically... Yeah, because, yeah, there's, 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 like, a different citrus scale. There was lime, there was, like, orange, there was lemon. It just, it, ju it was just kind of a sneaky, non-explicit way of stating, you know, what kind of stuff was in it, whether it was, you know... I see. Yeah, basically hot, softball, hardcore, that kind of thing. Like, it just specified. 
Yeah, no, I don't. If I if I have run into anything with those terms, I haven't made note of them. I'm just gonna call this one uh, Cogswell's Merkin. I just wanted to use the word Merkin. <clears throat> Also, I said flywheel earlier. I guess I was one treasure off. Um, Today was like one of those fly <clears throat> dreams didn't even see a berry flash in those high beams. If you say so. <laughs> yeah, when no, uh, you know, surprisingly, uh, what you, despite what you might think from me having read the Hogwarts exposed shit, um, I don't uh, go out of my way to read smut fix, so... I mean, I I know that. That's me. No, I don't. I don't know. I read. I read fan fiction, but I don't explicitly search out smart stuff. Yeah. Sometimes I do if I think it would be funny. But... <laughs> Which it sounds it sounds stupid. It sounds like that 4chan post where the guys like, "How oh, wouldn't it be funny if there was a picture of Yoshi being embarrassed that he laid an egg?" Haha. Uh -huh. But I, I'm serious. I genuinely do sometimes seek out fan fiction that I think. Oh, it's this like... could be shit. Okay, no, it's fine. Sometimes I will seek out fanfiction just because I and just read it just basically to amuse myself. You know, see what kind of crazy shit people are right about. Which, there, you know, that, one of those uh, one of those Pikmin bounced off at quite the velocity and uh, was pretty close to clearing the wall. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh. Meh, meh, meh. Merkin. <laughs> Mercantile experience. For, for some reason, uh, for some reason, Facebook uh, shared a historical Merkin post. I don't know what Merkin is. It's a pubic wig. Um, oh. The thing is, I, I wasn't sure why they existed. And, uh, according to this post, uh, they were mostly used to, uh, cover up STDs. I see. I just, I would just assume it's just, you know, everybody's preference is different. Some people don't like... I like that little bleh in the music. Yes. This, uh, flower has a chance to not spawn. Since it has spawned, you uh, will not be getting 20 whites in this cave. Oh, okay. Blah, 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 blah. So when you said I would be getting 15, you meant at least 15? Yeah. You, you, depending on... Uh, I wonder if that's a bug or if that's intentional. It's like, yeah, have a chance for this thing to spawn. I think it's just chance of bad generation. Yeah, I guess uh, when we get to, oh. I mean, it was picking up something earlier when you were closer to the ship. But it's like, keep, yeah, it's going higher. They buried, or are we just dumb? I think you're avoiding the area that it's in. What do you mean? Yeah, it's just. Oh, right the there. ball. Okay. I just didn't see it. So, as I've started to say, like twice, um, I guess we should probably check the Pikmin numbers and uh, determine if it's worth actually using the other white candy pops, because you might be left with, like, nothing but whites and purples at the end if you use them all. Which, I mean, not necessarily the worst situation, I guess. Alright. I guess you what? said you don't no, know I... ones in here anyway? Yeah, the ones that are just, like, metallic objects are kind of whatever. Um, so yeah, you've got another, uh... I can go 30. down to... I can go down to 20 reds using just the white things. And then... 15 reds if I take if I'd use the yeah I guess we'll that's do fine. some some red and some yellow that's why I brought that's why I brought so many reds and yeah I can do some yellows as well Third 
What would it be like if sandwich? What would it be like if house? Uh, oh yeah, the exit is... Up there. Am I uh, am I weird for having never heard the Lu the Luigi's Mansion theme until the Brawl soundtrack? I mean, I don't know. Did you play Luigi's Mansion? No. See what's weird? Because everybody played that game. It was a staple. Okay. I also didn't uh, know the new Soup theme until I played Brawl, or rather, downloaded the soundtrack. I mean, it. I I had a stupid uh, lack of knowledge about new soup i for, for probably a very long time like 10 15 plus years after it came out because i never played it i thought it was a remake of mario one i knew it had new power-ups i knew it had new enemies and gimmicks and stuff but i thought the general level layouts were for mario one i see and then when two when two came out and it was it was not wii i thought okay we probably had because i'd seen some gameplay of wii I'd seen more gameplay of Wii than I had of DS, and that one had what you know clearly distinct levels with like the very first level or second one has like the weird rotating uh, round yeah. platforms. I'm like, that's definitely not in the old ones, okay? And you know, and then two, and then and then they're like, here's two. Wii doesn't count as two. I'm like, okay, so this is a remake of Lost Levels with a coin gimmick added. Like, I seriously thought that was the deal. I don't think that's stupid. If you hadn't looked into the games at all and had no intent to play them, then... Yeah. Okay. We'll fly it up? I think so. There's the white candy pot. Would you like to buy some pot? Who needs it? Hopefully these are uh, programmed to never eject seeds into the yeah, abyss on like a certain ROM hack that I've played. Oh my god. Was that 251? No, that was fucking Colossal Cavern. Oh. Uh. It can shoot things into the abyss and it can uh, shoot things into uh, water. There is a uh, quantity of egg. Yep. Oh, this is a rest floor. I wasn't even realize. I even said that. Did you hide him? Yeah. I didn't see anything. Oh, I wait. Right. <laughs> Boo! Okay. Let's do yellows this time. Oh, oh, you should just make a game that's all about ladders. Oh, just ladders climbing other ladders. <laughs> what are you talking oh. about? Wanna to try the baby circles? Oh, never mind, Do they're it. going in the thing. Yep, fuck it. Oh. I was never gonna get all of them anyway. Okay. You might have. No. That's fine. But yeah, while watching me play the uh, Pikmin 1 Switch port, you have uh, made the observation that there's techniques I use that I've just never explained to you. Um, yeah. One like of which was, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, making tight circles to get the to pack compact. really close together yeah. before swarming stuff. Makes oh, sense. boy, it's this floor. Hmm. We're at 44 minutes. Should I cut here or... Uh, I don't... This is floor five out of yeah. nine. Yeah, we got There's five more to go. We did some outside pots today. Just... Yeah, I, I guess. Yep, okay. See you guys next time for, apparently, a very bad floor. See you then. <laughs>